It brings me to another issue that reflects decisions he took as president, and this, of course, was the disastrous evacuation of Kabul, the Afghan capital. And there was a harrowing scene this week when, at a public forum, the mother of one of the soldiers, her name is Cheryl Rex, she's the mother of Lance Corporal Dylan Marola, who was killed in that terrible evacuation. Here's what she had to say about the communication she had from President Joe Biden. When Joe Biden, our elected president, entered the room, when he approached me, his words to me were, my, my wife Jill and I know how you feel. We lost our son as well and brought him home in a flag-draped coffin. My heart started beating faster and I started shaking knowing that their son died from cancer and they were able to be by his side. Also wondering how someone could honestly, sorry, be so heartless to say he knew how I felt a little over 24 hours and learning of my son's death. After this encounter, I have never had any personal correspondence, nor has my son been honored or his name spoken by this commander in chief. Just horrible stuff, Kristen, tragedy upon tragedy. But how does the president deal with that? Well, this is more bad news for Biden, and that debacle in Afghanistan was a real turning point for his administration. His poll number, his poll numbers never recovered after that. He was sitting up at about 49, 50 percent before Afghanistan, and after the withdrawal, he went down to about 41 percent, which is really bad for a president at that point. And he has never really bounced back since then. Uh, you know, Biden, he campaigned on this return to normalcy and being kind of a moderate, but he has gone governed like a radical, and he has weakened our country with appeasement. I mean, he left tens of billions of dollars to the Taliban in Afghanistan. He just basically ceded the, the, the whole area to the Taliban and left 13 Americans to die and be murdered there. It is disgraceful. Americans were watching. The whole world was watching. And that makes us weak. And instead of stepping up and trying to strengthen our country with strong leadership, Joe Biden and those he surrounds himself with have been busying themselves with weakening our country from within by leaving the border open by starting these uh, divisions over race and gender. Uh, it is just disgraceful, Chris. So the more these heartbreaking stories come out, I suspect the worse it will be for Joe Biden as we get into this election season. Yeah, powerful stuff there, Kristen. Uh, I, I can see the passion and it's understandable when you recall that it's a horrible evacuation and how weak it portrayed and demonstrated America was to the rest of the world. Just on that, and when we talk about Joe Biden's capacity to go on and whether he is beyond, whether the task of the presidency is now beyond him, I, I want to show you this clip from your home state. Uh, he's honouring the, uh, the Houston uh, Astros and he made a quip uh, about people or players being beyond their best, beyond their prime. Have a look. Gus, it wasn't easy. People counted you out saying you're past your prime. Hell, I know something about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kristen, at least he can laugh about it. Yeah, I mean, it's just really pathetic at this point. More than two-thirds of voters at this point believe Biden is too old to run for president again. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I hope that he stays in this race because, uh, you know, if they replace him with Gavin Newsom or someone like Newsom, that would be a lot more dangerous for Republicans. He would be a much more formidable foe. But Joe Biden, his mental capacities, they are getting worse by the day. And many of his supporters who I speak to, even his most loyal supporters they are so nervous every time he gets on a stage in front of people or every time he walks up air force one or every time he just goes in public you just never know what's going to happen what he's going to say and they cannot do what they did last time they can't do this whole campaign from his basement they don't have covid as an excuse anymore there might not be mass mail-in voting to the extent there was last time because of the pandemic he's got to actually go out there and campaign and uh <laughs> If he stays in this race, we're in for a lot more gaffes and uh, the people around him are nervous about it. Yeah, indeed, it is excruciating to watch. Thanks so much for joining us again, Kristen. Thank you, as always, Chris. Honestly, if Joe Biden runs again, I might nominate for the AFL draft.